2019 American psychological horror film. And uh, it was produced, co-written, and directed by Tate Taylor, who is actually an actor, I believe. He, he did a lot of acting stuff. But it was produced by uh, Jason Blum. Follows a group of teenagers who befriend a lonely middle-aged woman, who is Octavia Spencer there. She lets them party in her basement, and they end up being terrorized by her. Just... The cover alone looks, I mean, you can just see two different people in that, in that cover. <laughs> a split personality, if you will. Had a budget of $5 million and made $60.6 .6 so it made money. Even though it had mixed reviews. The uh, critics actually praised Octavia's performance. And rightfully so. She did carry the movie. It is her movie. Let's, let's just say that again. It's her movie. And a lot of the critics didn't care for the teenagers because their characters did not take full advantage of... Well, they didn't take full advantage of the premise, like what was going on. Even though it is her movie, the teenagers were just there for, um, you know, basically to make her look better, <laughs> so to say. They were just acting like teenagers, just like any other movie you've seen. I consider this almost a modern-day misery uh, with her playing the role of Kathy Bates, even though Kathy Bates did it a lot better. But I still got to give her credit. Really. I mean, you know, she was nominated for Best Actress for the 2019 Saturn Awards. In this film, you can see how she is the way she is. Uh, I didn't think they were going to go too deep into that because as the film progresses, you, you learn on, you know, why is she acting this way? Why is she acting all crazy with these teenagers? Why is she letting these teenagers party in her basement? They have nowhere to go. She buys them beer and she allows them to go in the basement. But then she starts to get clingy. She starts to like text them on the phone like where are you are you guys if they don't go over there for a while like why aren't you here and she starts to want to be friends like why why is this middle-aged woman doing this you start to you know think like maybe there's something just not right with her or maybe she is just lonely but there's a secret going on at home again just like in misery when paul sheldon leaves that room and he goes out and he finds more information on annie wilkes is she crazy he finds books he finds scrapbooks he finds all this stuff. Same thing in this movie. None of the teenagers are allowed to go upstairs. They have to stay in the basement. Once the teenagers get out of that basement and they go in there into her house, they find things. They find clues. They find out what she's been doing and what she's been hiding. So it's really cool. As the movie progresses, you get to learn more about her and her past when she was younger. You kind of get the feel for her too. You kind of feel sorry for her in a way um and you know you get it you get why she is the way she is she actually went through something traumatic it's got an alternate ending and i don't really know if i like the alternate ending as well as the theatrical she just made this movie she really did um it's also it also has i believe juliette lewis is in this film uh, and Luke Evans is also in this film. But yeah, I just, you know, you don't really care about the teenagers, but they're just there to make her look good. And it's, it's, it's true. She puts on one hell of a performance and Octavia Spencer should have won something for this, for sure. Um, I would say this would be an honorable mention uh, for my favorite films of 2019. It definitely is worth mentioning. It definitely is worth watching. Um, and I believe it's worth owning in your collection. So um, what did you guys think of Ma? Uh, let me know in the comments. Would you put this in your top 10 favorite films of 2019? Um, yeah, just a, just a really good movie. Um, you know, it's from the producers of Get Out and Halloween. So all right, guys, thanks for watching this. I'll be back with more movie reviews and uh, other videos, so stay tuned. This is Rob signing off. See you guys in the next one.